hello everyone welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to talk about how you can call your python functions from your python script inside your c++ main program or inside your c++ script and uh, yeah sometimes it is really useful for example if you have uh, some complex problem and uh, writing a function for this problem uh, may be easier in python instead of in c++ so you can simply write that function inside your uh, python script and after that you can call that particular function inside your C++ main program and uh, you can store the output from that function inside your C++ variable and after that you can use that variable for further programming inside your C++ program or sometime it is useful for example if you are using a solution from a third person and he write his solution uh, everything in Python and you are going to use some of its functions from his Python script so uh, again you need to call uh, the function from his python script inside your c++ program and restore the output from his function inside your c++ variable and after that you can use that variable for further programming so and another thing if you are new on my channel please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also don't forget to get the updates of the new uploads for this you need to press the bell icon thank you and now we will start our today tutorial and for this you need to open your terminal and uh, we are going to use this terminal actually to compile our program and to link our libraries and uh, first of all you need to open your compiler i am go uh, going to use the visual studio code to compile my uh, c++ program and also to write my python scripts so uh, here uh, i have already created two scripts one is with cpp extension and another one is the py extension uh, one is the c++ program and another one is the python uh, script so uh, first of all we are going to write some functions inside our python script we will write a, first of all we will write a simple function name with func1 and having no input arguments and we will print something inside this function like i am fun1 and uh, we will return something from this function and for this you need to type return uh, 2 cross 2 of type integer float or double and uh, the next thing we need to create another function and uh, this time uh, we are passing some arguments inside this function we are just passing one argument input argument and next we need to again print something inside this function like i am on two and next we will return again something like integer float or double and for this time we are returning x into two and next we are going to create a more complex function and inside this function we are passing more than one arguments input arguments and again we are printing something um, inside this function right i am func3 and we are returning from this function like x into y of float type double type and uh, integer type maybe and next we will create another function like def fun4 and inside this function we are again going to pass just one argument and at this time we are going to do, pass this argument as a string type and uh, next we will print something inside it like print i am on four and again we will return from this function something string uh, type so you can simply write hello plus and your uh, input argument that's it so next we will call each of these functions one by one in our c++ program and store the output from these functions inside our c++ variable so uh, first of all in our c++ program we need to import or include some important libraries so first of all we need to import the header python dot h actually this is the python api for c++ and the next thing we need to include the io stream libraries uh, we are going to use this uh, header actually to output to get the output or to show the output from our c++ variables and next we need to write our main function and inside this main function we are again uh, writing some uh, input arguments arg c and arg v so next we need to fill this main function and we need to call uh, the functions from the python script inside of our c++ main program so uh, before calling uh, things from the python script we have to initialize the python environment for this you need to type py initialize with capital i i n i t i mm, a l i z d initialize so after that you can uh, write your python code inside your c++ program so first of all we need to create some python objects py 
objects and first of all we need the object of name so inside this uh, object we will store actually the name of our script script and the next thing we will call it like um, uh, load load module and uh, this is the name of the script and with this load module actually we are going to import the python script uh, and actually uh, this is the same like if you are using that python script inside your another python um, main script and here for this you need to type to import the script you need to type import and your script name so we are going the same thing here uh, first we will uh, store the name of the script in this object then we will import this object using this load module and uh, the next thing we need uh, the reference for our function like which function we want to use from this script so for this we need the object called func and uh, again we need to call this uh, function for this you need to call the call func and uh, the next thing we are also passing some arguments in some of our functions so for this you need to create the object of arguments type that's it and uh, the next thing first of all we need to store something in our name object for this uh, in our name object we will store the name of the script so for this you need to call the function py and uh, uni code uh, from string and uh, inside this function you can simply call it is of char type and the name of your script without the extension name like script and again semicolon next thing we need to import this object or import the script so we need to call uh, our load module and uh, here we need to call the function to import this script it's py import and again import and inside this you need to just type this name here and the next thing uh, we need uh, which function we want to use from that script so we need to pass the name of that function after that we will call this function using this object so here func and we need to uh, write the name of the function which we are going to use from that script for this you need to use the function py uh, object and uh, get attribute string and inside this function we are going to use this module load module and from this module or from this script uh, we need to use the function for example first we are going to use the function fun1 so you can simply type here fun1 and next thing we need to call this function with the name of fun1 so you can type call func and uh, again you need to call the this object you need to type py object and call object and inside this you need to pass your function and for now this fun one have no argument so you can type here simply null so that's it the next thing we are going to store the output from this variable inside our c plus plus variable for example it's of double type so you can simply type double and uh, this is the output from fun one you can simply type fun one out equals to and uh, py um, float as double and uh, here uh, you need to um, write the name of the call um, that's it and uh, for example if you had arguments so again you need to use three three things again here and uh, for now we are going to call the function from our module fun2 and this time this fun2 have some input argument one input argument x and to pass this argument you need to use this object and you need to call args equal to and you need to call the function uh, py pupil and pack and we are just passing one argument so you need to type one and what is the type of the argument we are passing a float or double type argument in it so for this you need to type py float 
from double and uh, you can pass anything right? for example i am passing 3.0 yep. now here you can replace the null with your arguments yep that's it now we want to store the output uh, from this function and it is returning also the float type output or double type output so here we will change our variable with on two and uh, here everything is okay and next we are going to call our fun three again you need to copy everything from here uh, and paste it here and this time we are calling the fun three and uh, inside this function we have more than one argument we have two arguments so you simply need to also type here we are going to use two arguments and uh, one is three and now we have to write another argument which is again of double type so you need to paste it here and change it with four now we have two arguments here uh, inside our fun three and everything remain is the same we just need to change the variable here fun three out and again it is returning the float type so or double type so this is it the next we need to call our fun four which is returning the string type so for this you need to type here fun4 and for this time we are passing again one argument in our function 4 here and it is it should be of string type so then you need to change it here so now this time we are passing the string for this you need to call the function py um, again unicode from string and again uh, sorry and again star and what we are going i am passing my name here that's it and uh, here is everything is okay and here now the function is returning the string so here we need to change also std string and this is the fun for and here it's returning the string so you need to type here py unicode unicode as as string yep that's it and uh, we are done we have uh, call each of our function inside our C++ program and also store the output from each function inside our C++ variables. So the next thing, uh, when we are done with our Python programming, so we need to close the Python environment. For this, you need to type py, py and finalize. That's it. And now uh, the next thing, we need to see the output from our functions. So for this, you can simply type stdc out and uh, fun one out and again std and l now i'm going to copy this and paste it here two and here fun two out fun three out and fun four out that's it how you can write your um c++ program and how you can store the uh, output from the python programs inside your c++ variable next thing we are going to compile this program and i am using the g++ compilation method here if you want to know the detail about this compilation method or about the cmake compilation method you can watch my another tutorial and i will put the link for that tutorial in the description so here as you, as you see the compilation is done successfully and a new file is generated with the name of output now i am running this output and as you can see it is calling all the functions i am fun1 fun2 fun3 fun4 and the output from the fun1 should be 4 because it is 2 cross 2 4 and from the second one i am passing x as 3 so it should be 3 cross 2 should be 6 so uh, i am getting 6 here and again if for the third i am passing two arguments three and four four into three is twelve and in the third fourth one i am passing my uh, name as a string sort and you can see here it will hello plus x and 
here hello plus sat yeah so this is for the today's tutorial i hope you like it so in the next tutorial we will see how we can call the class from the python script inside our c++ program and uh, thank you see you in the next time bye bye